in these problems we are actually trying to determine the logs of some numbers. Here we have the log base 2 of 1 half. Here we have just plain old log. That really means log base 10. So I'm going to sketch in a 10 down here. That's called the common log. So if you see log without a number at all, it's really log base 10. So the log base 10 of 100, and we've got some more we'll get to. Um, when you're finding the log of a number, what you're really saying is, what power do I take this base to to get this number here? So one of the methods for solving a log problem like this, or to help you think about it, is to rewrite it in exponential form. So if this is the base, you can write the base out here. Let's do that. I'll put a, a 2 here, because this is a log base 2. And then the, the, we're, we're going to get 1 half. So we don't know what power we're taking it to. That's the answer to the log. But we're going to get 1 half. So 2 to what power is 1 half? Well, 1 half is 1 over 2. So this is going to be negative 1. 2 to the negative 1 power is 1 half, right? You have that negative exponent. means you, you take the reciprocal. So this is negative 1. Let's try this with this next one, log base 10 of 100. What it's asking is, what power do you raise 10 to to get 100? And maybe you're, you already know the answer to that, but let's write this in exponential form. 10 is the base, the power we don't know, and it, the result is 100. So what's the power? Well, that's 2. 10 squared is 100. So this is 2. Let's try a couple more. This says a log base 7 of 7. So what power do you raise 7 to to get 7? Well, anything raised to the first power is itself. So this is just going to be 1. And this last one says log base 3 of 1 27th. So that's asking, what power do you raise 3 to to get 1 27th? And here, you might need to use a, a little thinking. Uh, 27 is 3 cubed. But then it's uh, on the bottom of a fraction. So we're going to take the reciprocal of 3 and then cube it. So that means x equals negative 3, because 3 to the negative 3 power, you'd flip the 3 upside down. You'd get a 1 over 3. And then you'd cube that 3. You'd get 1 over 27. So that is a little bit of work with evaluating logarithmic expressions.